Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is Kemano Dave. I have been gone for a little while, and while I was gone, Metaverse blew up. It was the greatest clickbait on the fucking internet, apparently. And people just discovered the LPD in VR chat in general. Uh, for some reason, VR chat equals the Metaverse, according to every article I'm seeing. It's very, very annoying. But I digress. Today, uh, speaking of the LPD, there's an article going around that several people have added me with, and I figured I would uh, do some commentary on it since I used to be a member of the LPD. For about six months, I had a lot of fun, and I kind of want to share my experience while going through the article. So, the article will be in the description. It's from inputmagazine.com. Inside the Volunteer Police Department, Arresting People in VR. Thousands are role-playing as cops on the VRChat platform, engaging in a mix of right, saving hostages, and wrong, planting drugs on civilians. Early last year, Jura was at the spa, chilling in a communal bath and having a casual chat with friends, when the Lolly Police Department burst into the building. He and his pals froze at the sight of the group, clad in uniforms and brandishing guns. The LPD had come to the spa to arrest a wanted criminal, and the person in question wasn't going down without a fight. Before Jura had time to react, he was witnessing a hostage situation. The criminal grabbed an innocent bystander and started making demands to negotiate his escape. Suddenly, shots rang out and an LPD officer hit the ground. The police team called for backup and shortly thereafter, the LPD's SWAT team stormed the building. Eventually, the hostage was freed and the criminal was taken to jail. When I was doing it, and it's been quite some time now, nearly a year, there actually was a uh, secondary role play group within the LPD that would try and get people used to how to be a hostage taker and make that part of the role play fun. But there's also other um, criminal uh, role play groups and other types, I should say. So not all of them are criminals. Some of them are just sort of like pseudo mafia or SCP. And there's a lot of other role play groups you'll interact with as uh, part of the LPD. And generally, uh, unless there has been some sort of agreement between the uh, heads of both groups, they t we tend to leave each other alone. But you can still have a lot of fun. Like I have a group picture here that I'll show. And it was very fun encountering them with a uh, patrol event and taking that group picture. But uh, yeah, so I have done the uh, hostage situation. I have been the hostage taker, the hostage and the SWAT. And all three of them are a lot of fun. Uh... Especially if you're the hostage taker, because then you just talk mad shit until you get fucking one tapped by a sniper, which is what happened with me as a, a Vietnam. <laughs> and there's actually one of the earlier ways that I met the LPD was someone had said, "Hey, you wanna you wanna help me t uh, kidnap someone?" I went, "Fuck it, why not? This sounds like fun." And then I got fucking taken out. Uh, it was hilarious. But the whole process there, if you're the LPD, is generally you'll try to negotiate. Uh, it sounds like here yeah, they had to start shooting anyway, but. If a hostage situation happens, your first resort to negotiation. If it's a fellow uh, police officer who has been taken hostage, you call in the SWAT. And so if you're in a patrol event, you're in a Discord call with uh, your squad and there is a, um, a dispatcher. So if you have to make a call, you jump to the dispatcher's Discord call, tell them the details. They'll then contact the SWAT. And the SWAT will come into the world. You tell them the details while you're in the world acting it out. And they will handle the situation. Uh, again, they'll try negotiation, but if negotiations fails, out come the flashbangs. Now, some people will have like some sort of ridiculous request that you just can't meet, or it's just really funny, and then they'll surrender, or it might turn to a gunfight. It, it, it's very varied, and it creates some very memorable moments. Especially, so I was a hostage one time, and I just started talking mad shit with the hostage taker because the amount of times I could have escaped had I not just been playing along. And uh, he just put a bullet in my head and lit me on fire. I still remember it to the day. It's fucking hilarious. Jura thought what happened was hilarious. After all, the whole thing was a role play and the criminal was in on the game. The LPD is a fake law enforcement agency that prowls the various worlds of VR chat, a platform which has an average of 20,000 concurrent users at any given time, which is a fuck ton for VR. Like, I think Boneworks is the next most popular, or Pavlov VR, and they're both only a thousand, roughly. I've been seeing this quote get taken out of uh, context so many times. It's a very common joke you see, not only in LPD, but any sort of 
roleplay group that has that option to spawn it. And it's just, it's funny. Like, you don't even have to read this comment, but if you can, you get that avatar and you pull out the back of your weed, you're like, I want to make the joke. And I did make the joke when I first did it. Everyone I've met has made the joke without even knowing the source or being told about it. It's funny. But uh, so many people treat it as this is representing real police and it's awful and, you know, they're bad for doing this. It's a fucking joke and also a great way to engage with people. If you say you pull out the bag of weed and you plant on them, you can gauge on their reaction and whether or not they want to be involved in it or just leave it. And most of the time you leave it, but some people play along and it's a lot of fun. It was so theatrical, an entertaining piece for everyone, really. Then once the criminal had been put away and the roleplay had ended, the members took their time to speak to all the witnesses, says Jura, a 22-year-old computer scientist from Scotland. It impressed me a lot, and when I showed interest, they were more than happy to talk me through joining. Funnily enough, I spend most of my day-to-day with those people now. Yeah, I actually uh, did this myself. Uh, if you're doing a roleplay group, even after doing an arrest, sometimes they'll ask you about how to join, or other people who are witnesses will ask. And you can either uh, tell them in the Discord, present them one of the signs in many popular VR worlds, or even the LPD, uh, or even the LPD world itself, which there'll be a lot of people there sometimes that can help you through or there's even uh, the Discord links there that you can see and go through that way. It's an actual op- application you do online because there's an age limit for maturity reasons, but it's very easy to get into and it's a fun group to be a part of. It's very well organized. If you're just getting into VR and want a social group or a uh, or to start doing some light role play, it's actually a good place to start. And you'll play meet a lot of other VR people and other passionate people to uh, get along with. I st- Fuck me, me and Burpin today. I still have friends from that group that I talk to regularly, that I play games with now on other platforms as well. The department began in 2018 as a joke among friends. At the time, too many people were using the Uganda Knuckles. Yeah, yeah they were. A, a tiny red character from the Sonic franchise. As their avatar, a trend that everyone in the VR world found super annoying. According to a former LPD captain... I'm not going to try, man. I'm sorry. I can't do, like, Norwegian or Icelandic, like, any Scandinavian country. I can't pronounce it, man. But my best guess is Troll Floor, and that's because I don't understand accents. So, just going to leave that. A 20-year-old who lives in Iceland and studies computer science. So, the original LPD staff used to go around trying to arrest those people. The LPD, an all-volunteer force, has evolved since then. Members moved through the ranks from cadet on up, based on the activity level, which is tracked via the group's Discord. Everything is carefully orchestri- orchestrated to mimic IRL police. So, there is a uh, whole training process. Like, you'll go through the application, then you'll go with an officer to learn the basics of how we, d- uh, I should say, how the LPD does things, and then you'll experience things with squad leaders. You go out on patrol events, get more used to it, into it. If you keep going, you can then. Uh, I think it goes to senior officer for memory. And then you can apply to do the special lolly response team training, the SWAT team. And that's what I did. I had a lot of fun doing that training. I'm glad I did it. It was fun to participate in that event with, I think, like 20 other people. We did it. And, you know, learning the tactics, quotation marks, and then going through that process. And then actually role playing it out in the VR chat world was a lot of fun as well. But uh, there, there's a lot of structure. There's also the LMT, Lolly Medical Team, Lolly Medical Technician, and now they have a prison system. So when I had left due to life, uh, the Lolly Medical Technicians had only just started, so I don't know how the prison system works because I wasn't a part of that. Although that has its own world now, which is really cool. There's also a creative team that are making the LPD series, I wish I could have been a part of that. That had just started recruiting when I had to move and then I was in a tent for a few months. So I'm a little bit salty at how much God hates me for that one. But there's a lot of creative people in this community and there's a lot of fun people. If you're looking to start out somewhere in VR or you want to develop your social skills or something else, I would recommend trying it. Oh, also, if you're a squad leader, you have to get up on top of that stage and speak to everyone who showed up to that event. I have stood up in front of crowds like that, and it is terrifying the first time. But it does help build that confidence, and you get used to it. Everyone's there supportive, so you're not going to get shit put on you if you're nervous or you stumble over your words. 
we have two hour patrols where we break up into squads and go into the world of VR chat and interact with people to start role plays. Says Jura, who is now a sergeant in the LPD and runs the training program for new recruits. They are uh, dispatchers as well. They even use sound effects to make it sound like they're speaking to people through a radio, he says. Carrot, a 29-year-old game developer and LPD captain from Texas, says that the hard work of volunteers allows its users... <sighs> Carrot, a 29-year-old game developer and LPD captain from Texas, says that the hard work of volunteers allows users to roleplay police activities in a realistic environment. We have some of our own worlds, like the hospital for a medical division, where we can pretend someone is getting in, no, getting treatment, or the jail away but criminals, says Carrot, who designed the LPD station and jail. Yeah, uh, if you are roleplaying right and you get uh, checked out by the medical team, they will check your prostate. They are very thorough. They want to make sure that it's a healthy size and you don't have cancer. Uh, don't ask me why. They just whip that, that glove. It's the first thing they check. Just, just be aware of that when you are, when you get your cough in front of them. That they might get the wrong idea. Oh, also, they might overdose you on morphine. That that's happened a few times, so don't worry about it. I'm not gonna lie. I wish I thought of this. This is genius. One of Carrot's favorite things to do is meth is to mess with users at random. Lots of people in VR chat like to sit in front of mirrors. He says. I will go up to the mirror and do a mirror inspection. Then I say it's an illegal mirror and start looking for someone to blame and arrest. They just don't know how to handle that. I I could imagine that. It would fuck with so many people and I'm annoyed I didn't think of it. It is hilarious. Ah, fuck the police. I remember this. Uh, you know, certain person struggled to breathe due to fentanyl. I mean a knee. I mean, don't talk about that. No, uh, no, it's a Pink Floyd's uh, favourite long-lost brother or something. I can't remember his first name or anything. Anyway, uh, around that event, there was a lot of uh, shit going on. I'll touch on it in a bit. Being a VR chat police officer comes with its share of challenges. Members are aware that their form of roleplay, which frames spot checks and fake drug busts as harmless fun, doesn't sit well with some members of the community. We absolutely get abuse, says... I'm going to try that, man. I'm sorry. Horror for. Uh, especially when there's police violence going on in the US. We get a lot more people responding and saying curse words to us, like, fuck the police. I have literally had people come up to my a squad that I was the leader of and tell us that we're all awful people and how could we do something like this with what's going on. And I know there's certain members of the LPD that are actual police officers uh, because I've had those conversations with them. And the fact that they get abused at their work at worst than what we get in VR. And then in VR, they get abused for the same thing because the police are quite frankly villainized. It's awful. Um, I had a very hard time. It was one of the reasons I stopped uh, was outside of life was the fact that every time going out, it would just be going to a lobby and having to bite my tongue as someone wants to do fuck the police or say they were awful or try and make everyone feel bad and not allow any kind of fun to happen and just guilt tripping. I just got so fed up with it that it was kind of much harder to get out. But I'm not certain how often it happens now. But it was every single patrol at the the peak of those tensions with a certain, uh, <coughs> we will fight to the last breath. Oh, I'm so getting eaten from YouTube, but I had to make the joke. Despite the power dynamics at play, LPD members are not moderators of the VR world and ultimately can't make much of a real change. One of our new officers came to me upset because they stepped in when they saw harassment, but then they got the brunt of the attack from the harasser. Yup, that's the internet. Says Carrot, I commend him, but that's not what we do. We're just trying to have fun, so usually when we encounter something like that, we just lead the world. Quite frankly, that's all you can do. Well, that's going on, you can't step in, it just drags everyone down, you kind of just have to leave. Thankfully, Carrot says, the LPD can help their community somewhat. We encourage LPD officers to help out new users. It's easy to spot them, so we often go and give them a hand. Show them how things work, he says. The LPD used to run events for this purpose, but they were recently brought to a halt. The events are on hiatus because it became a bit culty. Everyone was trying to recruit people into the LPD. 
I mean, that sounds pretty normal for VR chat in general. Like, I remember many times I've just seen the, the cult of the goose. Like, one goose will come in and slowly will infect the server. Just more geese roaming around and honking, going, Join us! Join us! Honk! Honk! Fuck, it's, it's fucking hilarious, though. But yes, the, the whole culty thing, it happens. People get carried away and it's fun. The LPD has some real-world benefits. I went to school for game development, but I'd never been able to get a job in the industry so I never had examples of my work. I got my current job because people saw what I did for the LPD, says Carrot, who now works in 3D design. He thinks the LPD provides opportunities for its members to build soft skills too. A lot of people, when they first join the LPD, they're really shy, but by the end of it, they completely come out of their shell and they can talk to complete strangers. Jura is one of the people who has become more sociable. I was definitely a lot shyer before the LPD, especially online. It's made it easier for me to make friends and relationships, he says. This student, who now oozes confidence, has even put the LPD on applications for university grants, citing the project management and leadership expertise he's gained being on the force. As odd as it seems, given where the skills came from, it's definitely improved things for me. So I know from uh, my own personal experience, Having to deal with the bullshit that you get role-playing police officer in the VR chat. Well, I went into retail as my first job, and I can tell you right now those skills were very, very helpful. It, the, the ability to bite your tongue and not uh, speak your mind when someone is being a daft cunt. Very useful in retail. Although I do completely hate my fucking job like anyone else in this career. But overall, I think the LPD is a very positive force. And I've probably said this a few times now, but I really enjoy my time there. I strongly reconsider rejoining frequently. I just don't have the time right now between work and trying to make this a career now. I'm taking it far more seriously, hence why they are doing this kind of content as an interesting change of pace. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the little bit of insight I gave here. I didn't really have too much, but just some stuff you might not hear elsewhere. This has been... This has been Commando Dave. Have a good one. Hope they'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.